And so we were looking at circular motion, and as you can see by this dinosaur going around in circles, I'm using the wire to keep it moving in a circular path. Now you just have to ignore the fact that my hand's moving, putting a little bit of energy into the system because of friction. And the question we asked was, what's the direction of the force on the dinosaur in order to keep it in a circular motion? Now, quite often there's an awful lot of uh, explanations that are deal with this sort of abstract, uh, there are abstract arguments that use vectors, but really the simplest thing to say is the only uh, unbalanced force acting on this dinosaur to keep it in a circle is being provided by tension, which is being provided by this wire or the string. And so the force is always directed exactly towards the middle. So it's actually that simple. There's only one force and it's always acting at the center. And so the centripetal force is always directed towards the center of rotation, towards the axis of rotation. Second question we asked, which way is the acceleration on the dinosaur? Force is a vector quantity. Acceleration is also a vector quantity. F equals mass times acceleration. Both are vector quantities. Obviously, if the force is directed there and acceleration and force are related, acceleration or centripetal acceleration also has to be directed towards the center. Now, there are some somewhat more abstract uh, discussions about this where we, we know that the velocity is uh, perpendicular perpendicular to the circle at the exact point where the velocity is being taken. So if this was V1 and it was taken at that point, and this was velocity 2 taken at that point, we can calculate the difference between the two velocities using vectors. Uh, we can use this tail-to-tail -tail subtraction method, okay? And there's, uh-oh, it's upside down, but that's okay. There's V2 minus V1, and you'll notice that when I do V2 minus V1 and then return it back here, the once again, the difference in the two velocities geometrically is still pointed towards the center of the axis of rotation. And so circular motion, direction of force, always towards the axis of rotation.